Hi everybody, Jill Lancet. How are you? How's your week been so far? Um, we're making another Christmas card tonight. Um, on my last video on Sunday night, um, I showed you how to make this gorgeous, gorgeous um, butterfly card using a template from the gorgeous Tatiana Creative. Now, go back and have a look at that video and it will give you the details on how you can get this free template in order to make those. But I'm not doing that tonight. Um, I am going to make a Christmas card and I've got it all here. I've got it already cut out and uh, I'm going to get straight into this. So I've got a piece of soft, so soft sea foam. Oh my goodness. Um, it's 10 and a half inches by six inches. Now, this is going to be our card base. Now, all will be revealed. So you need to stick around to see how this is going to turn out, okay? So I'm taking my piece of soft sea foam. And as I said, it is 10 and a half inches long and it is six inches wide. And I'm going to pop the 10 and a half inch edge into my trimmer, taking my blade out of the way and I'm just using my scoring blade and I want to score this at two and five eighths. Now this is all in inches because uh, it will make the same size card for all countries. Okay so two and five eighths so there is two and I'm looking at these measurements here. So two, two and a half and two little clicks past two and a half is two and five eighths. So I'm going to score that, give that a really good score. And then I'm taking it out, I'm turning it around. So the score that I just did is on this side and I'm going to do exactly the same thing, two and five eighths. Okay. So I'm going to fold this now and Oops, this is the point where you want to make sure that's straight, that they're aligned up, okay? So I'm going to fold both of them in towards the centre. Now they should fit really, really well. I haven't got my bone folder here, but uh, it doesn't matter because we're actually going to run this through the um, cut and emboss machine. Now mine is a big one, it's off screen there. And we're actually going to take the largest deckled circle die. And you'll see that it just fits vertically. But both sides hang off. Okay? They hang off there. And that's what we want. Okay? So I'm just going to take some of these little post-it arrowy things that I discovered that somebody told me about. <laughs> I didn't discover them. Somebody told me about them. Right, hang on, hang on. Now, I want to line this up, top and bottom. It's pretty close to the, to the edge, but on the other sides, I want the same amount hanging over, okay? So I think that's actually, is that two or one? Doesn't matter. Let's pop it in there like that. And I'm going to run that through closed as a gatefold. That's what this is called, a gatefold. Okay, so I'm just going to run that through. Now, just bear with me while I do that off camera. <clears throat> Sorry, while you're looking, while you're thinking about that, I've also got some of this gorgeous designer series paper here and we need the second largest deckled circle and I'll show you what we're going to do. I've already done this bit so hopefully that will be a painless exercise. So here we go. Let's hope that's cut right through. Yes it has. Now our, our gatefold card now is a circle or very close to a circle. Just 
just pop those up there in case we need them. And that is the largest of the deckled circles, okay? So we've got that. It has flattened it out nicely. Um, we're going to put some designer series paper on this. Now, I have, as I said, I've already cut out this beautiful designer series paper. I have cut out two sheets. Now, this could be tricky because, yeah, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> just, just bear with me. Okay, so this is the second largest of uh, the deckled circles. Now, you know, measuring, not, not my best thing. So in order to find halfway, I'm just going to fold this in half. And it's not too hard, not really too hard. And so I'm just going to give that a press and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So I'm folding that in half. Sorry, that is my watch. It keeps banging on my glass mat. And now that I've done that, I'm going to give that a good crease. Given that I can't find my uh, <laughs> bone folder. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to cut off like half a centimetre. So I don't know what that is in inches. So about half a centimetre. And if you bring it down a little bit, you can mark, line it up with that mark and line it up with that mark there. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'm just going to trim that off. Okay. Right. I'm going through two layers. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with this one. It's a heck of a lot easier than trying to work out where the center is and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah. And now we have four semicircles. <coughs> um, I also, I haven't, die cut this yet but I also have a scrap here I've got another scrap of the uh, soft sea foam and we're going to do some stamping so the first thing I want to do is stamp the message that I have which is Merry Christmas it is from that stamp set which for the life of me here this one greetings of the season I took the Merry in the um font and the Christmas in that font and put them together. So I'm just going to stamp that up in the um, Tuxedo Memento Black. No, yeah, Memento Tuxedo Black. Crikey. Oh dear, I've had a, I've had another week again, you guys. So, But anyway, look, I hope my head doesn't get in the way, but I, I chose this one. Hang on. Now what I'm trying to line up is the Merry because it won't matter if the Christmas is a bit crooked. Hang on, my head's going to get in the way. Sorry, guys. Now, I hope that's straight because I really was not on top of that. Okay, so I'm stamping that, giving that a bit of pressure and beautiful. Look at that. Now I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. Hang on, two secs. Oh, actually, I can do it with my mini. I can do it with my mini right here. You can share fun. Okie doke. This is small enough to go through the mini. Okay, so just pop that on there. Now I lined it up because I used a piece of scrap and it was just wide enough for that die to fit in. Okay, so that's why I had the die there and I stamped through it because I knew that I didn't have any um, leeway. So there we go. And there's that beautiful tag. Look at that. Cuts the hole, puts this beautiful border all the way around. Isn't that lovely? Mm, really, really nice. So we'll pop that up there so I don't lose it. And... Now we want to do some stamping with uh, this stamp, which is from the You Are Beautiful. 
it's got berries on it so I wanted that and I'm going to use markers on it to um, stamp these and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this okay so I've got um, a green marker I think it's garden green I'm going to stamp like color the leaves now I'm using the side of the marker these are the water-based markers okay so I'm using the side and this is a nice open one that you you know you can color this quite easily um, and quite quickly and I just want to color in the twigs on the bottom then I'm going to color the um, berries in with the red the real red and now because I might have taken a little bit longer to color those I'm going to exhale like I did um, the other day <sighs> and I'm just going to stamp that down like that now with the residue I'm going to breathe on that again and I'm going to stamp that on here just like that a second generation very very pale then I'm going to go back and color that in again I'm using the side of the texture and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret I've made quite a few Christmas cards uh, in the last few videos and the only Christmas part I have legitimately are the sentiments so the the foliage and the, the images have come from other I would say like non non Christmas sets so have a look around see what you've got okay so I'm going to do the red now I'm going to stamp that again I'm just going to huff on that that's what it's called huffing and I'm going to stamp on this hang on I've got to huff it again I'm just stamping on that and then I'm going to stamp on this again on this side So I've got just a little bit of the images there. Now, I might want to stamp around there, but because I've already done that, I have to stamp off again. Oops, wrong end. You, want, you definitely want the thicker end, the brush type end. And I think I'll just use these, the leaves. I won't colour anything else in. And I want to stamp off and then I'm going to huff on that and maybe put some leaves along here. Oh, and that is quite dark, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting these out and it will fit right in. So let's see if we've got any ink left that we could just put a few more little bits there. And we do. Look. Look at that. So now I'm going to fussy cut this. Please bear with me or um, fast forward, whatever. It doesn't really take very long. And, yep, yeah, all will be revealed. Now, you just want a really thin border around these. Now, look, sorry if I am uh, wasn't in camera then. But, yeah, you just want a really thin border. Now, it's up to you what size your border is, okay? You know, you can... Uh, have no border if you wish uh, I'm in a bit of a hurry I'm just trying to show you I was going to do this off camera but <clears throat> excuse me but then I decided to do it so it won't take very long there is not a die for this but look seriously um, it's very quick very very quick there's one, one done, one down. And 
just getting into this second one now and that won't take very long at all either. I used to, I used to really intensely dislike fussy cutting, but I don't know, the more I seem to be doing it lately, the more I quite enjoy it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I remember going to, well, here in Sydney, certainly, Luna Park, and there was a guy there that could cut out a silhouette of your face while you sat there. <laughs> and he was generally spot on. He looked like he was as bored as anything. And then suddenly he would start just ch -ch 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 -ch. And before you knew it, there was a silhouette of your face. <laughs> Used to actually fascinate me. Who knew that I would be a fussy cutter when I grew up? Right, there's that. Now, on the inside of this card, you can put an insert in if you wish. I'm not going to go to that trouble. I have another stamp with, um, may your holiday season be filled with warmth and cheerful celebrations. And again, I'm doing that in the um, Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm just popping that in the center, possibly just a tad up a little bit above uh, center. There we go, I hope that's straight. Oh dear, I hope it is. Okay, let's have a look. We'll give it a good stamp, beautiful. I'm going to bring my little um, leaves back and I'm going to color them one more time. As you can see, this is not, um, doesn't take a very long time. And the twigs. And then the berries. And that is done. Now I'm going to pop that full strength right in here like that. It just kind of nestles in there like that. Beautiful. So that's that. Now we're going to assemble this and it's quite quick, quite quick to assemble. So the first thing I want to do is to find my two red pieces. I'm going to line them up. There will be a border. So I'm going to um, a little bit of liquid glue because I do want that wiggle room. So I've got a little border there, a little border there. Um, it does kind of hang off there, but that's fine because it gives you the continuation of the circle. Um, and I'm going to cut, uh, glue this one on too, sorry. Don't drop it, Jill. Okay, so there we go. All borders looking okay. Everything seems to be lined up. Now, on the inside, I want to do the same thing. Okay, now you can pick which side you want. I think, I think this side. I think this side. So I'm going to glue that on the inside as well. Now you'll need to go as close to the uh, score as you can to maintain your border. Okay, so there we go. And we'll pop this side on. We're nearly finished. Nearly finished. And I've got chicken wings in the oven for dinner. <laughs> and I can smell them. That's why I'm probably hurrying up a little bit right there we go now there's our card now with this little section here we're going to do some fancy footwork okay we're going to glue this onto the front now just a little bit above center is always a bit pleasing to the eye so i've turned that over 
and I only want to go as far as the middle. Okay, so just popping a bit of glue along there like that. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that down. As I said, just a little bit higher than center. Now, here's a little trick. Take your little rule and put your little T rule on the spine there and line those two up because I did a prototype and it was as crooked as a dog's hind leg. I don't mind telling you. So now that's straight. Now we can glue one of these on here like this. We're going to glue the other one on as well. But we want, uh, let's see, we might do this one this way this time. Okay, so we'll glue this one down. Just glue the whole thing down. And I want to cover up that hole. See that hole there? Yeah, I want to cover that up. Nobody needs to know there was a hole there. That's pretty, isn't it? Now this one here, we're going to use um, we're going to use this as our little closure. So we might have to get a little bit creative here and just glue these three leaves. So while it's closed, I'm going to just glue those three leaves up there like that. And if I hold that, if I hold that, you'll see that that will open and you can close it back under there quite well. Okay. So now the last little thing on this is, um, remember our perfect pearls that we had the other day? Well, here is a perfect opportunity to have some gorgeous sparkle on this thing. So I've got a little block and I've got some water here and I've got my little paintbrush and I'm just going to dip. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not a lot. It's just a small amount. Well, it actually is quite a lot, I think. So I'm going to pop that on the block, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Can you see that? Look at that, beautiful. Now, what I thought I might do is I might just put a little dot in each of the berries, just like that. and over this side as well. And then I thought I might get a really tiny little brush. I've got a tiny little brush here. That might be too ridiculously small. Let's see. I've got another one here. And I just thought I might do the vein in the leaves. Don't get too hung up on perfectness, okay? So we've got some beautiful veins going down there. And that size was perfect. Um, then, then, I was going to get, now, without me knocking over my uh, drink, I'm going to pop this into my little spray booth. And yes, I've still got that beautiful piece of paper towel in there. And I'm just making this quite wet. And I'm just going to splatter this all over the card front. Just for that sparkle. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Now, that will take a minute to dry. But at the risk of uh, at the risk of spoiling it, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to do the same thing. 
just in there and I'm going to do the veins on the leaves and as they say Bob is your uncle now you can spatter on the inside it does there's no rule that says you can't um, now there's a bit of room hopefully if you're like me you don't want to write too much because you then have to think of something to write so yeah there's there's a small amount of room there you know dear so and so or oh, that's not really in the center but anyway whatever and then you've got this gorgeous gorgeous little tricky little latch um what do you think can you guys please let me know what you think in the comments below um, about that. And it stands up. It stands up really lovely. It stands up like that. So, yeah. I think it's another one of those mantelpiece cards, you know, that, that are interesting. Might blow over, though, if there was a big gust of wind. But anyway, after you send it to them, it's their problem. <laughs> Oh dear, I'll probably get I'll probably get emails about that. Anyway, 26 minutes down the track. 26 minutes and we've made this gorgeous card. Um yeah. Let me know what you think. I think it's cute. I think it's interesting. You may not be making it for every single person, but there might be some people that are really, really card worthy out there that would appreciate this gorgeous handmade card. Look, thanks so much. All the details below. Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, share if you like. But um, yeah, thumbs up. I wish you could give me two. But anyway, there you go. Um, and here's the thing. Haven't used any Christmas uh, stamps yet. And yet that looks quite Christmassy. Especially here in Australia where we have gum leaves. Um, and we quite often have those in our decorations and our gum leaves have beautiful um, our gum trees have beautiful red flowers on them sometimes so yep Aussie Christmas card <laughs> all right thank you so much take care everybody be kind and hooray bye